Brother Chris, I ran into a young lady on yesterday as I was sitting by the table with my Israelite brothers, and I was glad to sit by the table. Y'all know I had to go have some words with them. It was exciting to talk and hear their little revelation that they are the only ones. The Israelites believe they are the only ones. And that the Gentiles is not the Gentiles, like the whole world Gentile, but the Gentiles are the fallen Israelites who fell out of obedience and covenant with God, and they are called the Gentiles. They be true. But also of the Gentiles, uh -huh. as he said also in Hosea, mm -hmm. I will call them my wait, 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 who is Hosea? Hosea. Hosea. Uh -huh. So what are we just reading Hosea? Read uh -uh. Huh? Yeah, that's what we read. So then what, what Jews and Gentiles then is he talking about here? We just read it in Hosea. Fallen Jews. It's Israelites. Israelites that have became not a people. Okay. But God so loved the world. Beyond your ethnic group. That God only want to bless you. I want to say to you that God don't just want to bless a few people. God want to bless everybody. One. I say the truth in Christ. Uh -huh. I lie not. So Paul said, everything I'm about to say is the truth. I am not lying to you. Right. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. And I'm saying this of a clear conscience because this is what's written in the Bible. Read that I have great heaviness and uh, continual, continual sorrow mm -hmm, in my heart. Mm -hmm. For I could wish that myself were accursed mm -hmm. from Christ. I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, Christ. meaning mm -hmm. I wish that the curse could be on me. me if and not read. For my brethren, for my brethren, Israel. my kinsmen, my kinfolk, Israel. according to the flesh, according right. to the flesh, he read, he read. Human he read. people uh -huh. who are Israelites, who are yeah. Israelites. Now, watch this. To whom? To whom? Pertaineth What does the word pertain mean? It, uh, 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 it's yours. Well, I mean, and it belongs no, to you. you. Yeah. So oh. now he's saying, right. to whom? It, the Israelites, to whom? Always. Belong. Right. The adoption. The adoption, the adoption belongs to who? Israelites. Israelites. Keep reading. And the glory. The, and the glory of heaven belongs to who? Read. And the covenants. Belongs to the Israelites. So the law of sacrifice and right. the blood of Christ belongs right. to who? Israel. Read. And the giving of the law. Who was the law given the, to? The Israelites. Only the Israelites. Okay. And the service of God. Who were only servants of God. Israelites. So that means nobody no, else can serve God but us. Yeah, keep reading. And the promises. Every right. promise was made for the sake of Israel and to Israel. Keep reading. Whose are the fathers? Mm -hmm. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, the flesh. Christ came. No spiritual Israelites. These are people in yeah. the flesh. Yeah. Read. Not Who is over all. Uh -huh. God blessed forever. Amen. Keep reading. Keep reading. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect. So right. it's not like what you're hearing is some strange thing read. that it ain't real. Read. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Why? Because some Israelites were living as Gentiles. Right. And read. Gentiles. Neither because they are of the seed of Abraham. So we can't say because you came from Abraham, because Abraham had eight sons. Right. But the promises were made, and he's going to tell us. Are they all children? So not no. because they came out of Abraham, no. like the Is right. Islam, the Arabs, the Palestinians. Right. Just because you came out of Abraham means you to read. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So this is not about the Abrahamic faith. Read. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Those are the children of the flesh that came out of Hagar, that came out of the others. These are not the children of God. So is everybody a child of God? No, sir, not at all. So who are the children of God? The Israelites. Keep on reading. Read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Who was the promise made to? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Read some more. For this is the word of promise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At this time will I come. And Sarah shall have a son. Mm -hmm. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one. Those are the mothers of Isaac and then Jacob. By our father Isaac. Uh -huh. For the children being not yet born. So now he's talking about the two kids that Rebecca was pregnant with. The children. Read. For the children being not yet born. And they had not even been born yet. Right. Neither having done any good or evil. And they couldn't be good or evil because they hadn't even born. been to earth yet. Right. 
that the purpose of God, that the purpose of God, or the promise He made before they were born, according to election, uh, the, according those to who election, He elected, elected or chose right. might stand, right. has to stand. Right. Whoever He said the chosen and the elect is has to stand. It will never change. Read, right. not of works, not of works. So nothing that they did, right. but of Him that calleth. But because God said, "This is what I made happen." It was said unto her, uh -huh. the elder shall serve the younger. The first child is going to be a servant to the second child. That's as it is written, as it is written, yeah. Jacob have I loved. In the book of Malachi, chapter 1, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God hates the Edomites. That's they right. cannot make it into the kingdom of heaven ever. The what? The Edomites. Keep reading. What's good stuff? Read. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. What shall we say? Is there unrighteousness with God? God? So does that make God unrighteous? Because right. he chose what he, who he chose right. and what he wanted to do. Right. Does that make him unrighteous? God forbid. God forbid. So now, Certainly Romans not. chapter 3. Is that the whole chapter? Is that the well, we're not going to read the whole chapter. I'm going to go back and read it. Right, go back and read it. Go back and read it. Get the Gentiles in 24. Yeah. That's what he did. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Well, cool, cool. Jump down. Jump down. Jump all right, down thank you. Thank you. Jump down to 24. Go, go. Come on. Here go the Gentiles. Uh -huh. right. Romans chapter 9 and verse 24. Uh -huh. Get out. Even us, uh -huh. whom he hath called, mm -hmm. neither the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, uh -huh. as he said also in Hosea, mm -hmm. I will call them wait, my wait, 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 wait. people. Pop, pop, pop. Who is Hosea? Hosea. Hosea. Uh -huh. So what are we just reading Hosea? Uh -uh. Huh? Yeah, that's what we read. So then what, what Jews and Gentiles then is he talking about here? We just read it in Hosea. Fallen Jews. His Israelites. Israelites that have became not a people. Okay. Fallen Jews. His Israelites. Israelites that have became not a people. Okay. Fallen Jews. His Israelites. Israelites that have became not a people. Okay. The Gentiles is not the Gentiles like the whole world Gentile, but the Gentiles are the fallen Israelites who fell out of obedience and covenant with God and they'll call the Gentiles may be true. God and they'll call the Gentiles may be true. God and they'll call the Gentiles may be true. Right. Still talking about Israel. That's good. Right. Keep reading. As he said, also in Hosea, I will call them my people, uh -huh. which were not my people, uh -huh. and her beloved, which was not beloved. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, mm -hmm. Ye are not my people, uh -huh. there shall they be called the children of the living God. Go back to Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. What is Paul quoting? He's quoting the book of Hosea. Right. Was Hosea talking about natural born Gentiles he was talking about Israelites that have been cast away through idolatry so he's never talking about natural Gentiles verse 24 is talking about us right read verse nine, uh, Hosea chapter 1 and verse 9 uh -huh. then God then said God call his name Laomi mm -hmm. for ye are not my people so this is where the northern kingdom from Ephraim down to Naphtali went away into captivity went away into captivity because they went away into idolatry they separated themselves from us and God said eventually they are not my people all right we'll read some more in Hosea read Verse 10 mm -hmm. Yet the number of the children of Israel Shall be as the sand of the sea mm -hmm. Which cannot be measured nor numbered mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass That in the place where it was said unto them mm -hmm. Ye are not my people What are you called when you are not God's people? Gentile. A Gentile That's what we read in verse 24 so there where you used to be called my people now you'll be called not my now you'll be called a gentile read there it shall be said unto them mm -hmm. ye are the sons of the living god meaning the the southern king i mean the northern kingdom would be grafted back into the fold and called the people of god again this is ezekiel chapter 37 take the two sticks and put them together ephraim with judah and now all of y'all are my people under one king and one land with one rule, one law. Right. That's good teaching. That's what that's saying. That's good teaching, minister. You understand? Thank you. All right. Everything. All right, Chris. So, so do you understand that, Leo? Yeah. So the entire Bible is written only to the children of Israel. But God so loved the world beyond your ethnic group that God only want to bless you. I want to say to you that God don't just want to bless a few people. God want to bless everybody. It is not. Now, let me show you who the world is because here's the confusion. Yeah, John, John, John 3 16. Very good. Go to John 3 16. Let's deal with it. All right. John 3 16. You know John 3 16, sis? 
Oh, yeah, everybody can go part of it. Is it just the love the world that he gave his begotten son? Uh huh. I don't want that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, perish but have everlasting life. Very good. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So now, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right? Let's see who this world is. Give me the world. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45. In verse 17. Now, why we're doing this, why we're jumping, is because the Bible tells us the way that you teach the Bible and read the Bible is precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. So that means Isaiah was going to prophesy something. Christ was going to come speaking, but he was going to take prophecies from different prophets and put them all in one sentence. And you had to now go back to those prophets and tie it all together to understand the bigger picture. Yeah. So that's why we're jumping Isaiah 45. Read. Uh, but Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. This is called rightly dividing the word. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord mm -hmm. with an everlasting salvation. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Nor confounded Read. world without end. So what is Israel called? What did he call Israel right there? The world. A world without end. Meaning an everlasting world. You understand? So the world in John 3.16 is going back to Isaiah 45. But let me show you some New Testament. Give me John. You know what I want? I'm answering with Jesus answered him. I spake openly to the world. Who did Jesus speak to? I spake openly to the world. So did Christ go all around the globe speaking to everybody? No. No. But he said I spoke openly to the world. Read. I ever taught. I always taught. In the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort. So who was Christ teaching? So who was he calling the world? That was right. That's in the New Testament. We are the world that is spoken of in John 3.16. Why? Because the Bible tells us that he crafted the world's full. You understand? So all of if, if, if you have three children in a house and two are playing over here and one is over here by himself, you're going to say he's in his own little world. No, 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 no. But, but he, if he's doing his own thing, she said it. You get it. It's, a, it's an inference. We know he's still on earth with the rest of us, but you're going to say he's in his own little world because he's doing his own thing. You understand? So you can use that. You have the animal world. You have the sports world. You have the world of medicine. You understand? Yeah, you got sea world. So the word world is not always, in fact, who has, somebody Google the word world for me. I got you. Right. Which one? It's Hebrews. Hebrews 1 and 2? Cool. Read Hebrews 1 and 2. Somebody Google the word world for me. Read Hebrews 1 and 2. Sir. The book of Hebrews, chapter 1. In verse 2. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, mm -hmm. whom he hath appointed heir of all things, mm -hmm. by whom also made the worlds. The what? The worlds. Spell that for me. W-O-R-L-D-S. Oh. So there's multiple <laughs> worlds made. So the world that he's speaking of in John 3, 16 oh, okay. is Israel. Oh, We're the everlasting world. The world that will never die, be confounded, be ashamed. The one that he's always loved and will never destroy completely. That's us. It's Israel. Read the word worlds. Oh, a lot. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, no, you, no, you have to wake up easy. Yeah, we want the definition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Thank you, though. No, no, you good, sis. Thank you, though. Read this. It says, world, world, a distinctive class of persons <laughs> or their sphere of interest or activity. So, you can be called your own world if you're within the same sphere or activity. So, the word world is not an inclusive, it's an exclusive word. You understand what I'm saying? The same, the same, I look up the word all. Most people don't look up these definitions. Look up the word all. I read that. You already read it. Yeah, we already read Hebrew. So go back to John 3 16. So John chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh, right, number one. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Used to, same thing. No, it's no. Oh, used to refer to the whole quantity. The whole quantity. Or extent of a particular group or thing. So if I say all, does it always mean everybody? No. No, it's a particular group. Right. So when the Bible says all, it's not even talking about everybody on earth. It's talking about a particular group. Christ only came to deal with Israel. That's right. it. That's why he wouldn't even speak to Pilate when he went before him. He stayed quiet. 
He said, are you king of kings? He said, thou sayest. He didn't even want to deal with him. Why? Because he was a heathen. He had nothing to say to him. He came to live and die and be resurrected again to redeem his people, which was Israel. That's it. That's right.